Lesson 7 Summary May 6-12 Worshipping the Creator Sabbath Afternoon Memory Text Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Sabbath Afternoon reflects on the tendency to take things for granted, including aspects of our daily lives and the existence of the universe itself. The author highlights how easily we overlook familiar and constant elements such as parents, the sun, the sky, the air, and the ground. Furthermore, the author suggests that we rarely ponder the fundamental question of why there is something instead of nothing, and why our universe exists with all its complexity and wonders. Scientific theories indicate that the universe was once non-existent, making its current existence contingent and remarkable. The author asserts that our universe exists because it was created by God, dismissing notions of it arising from nothing or mathematical equations. Sunday. A Companion in Tribulation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 9. See also Matthew chapter 13 verse 21, Acts chapter 14 verse 22, and John chapter 16 verse 33. What's the message here for all who seek to follow Jesus in this world? The message conveyed in the passages mentioned is that followers of Jesus may face tribulations and trials in this world, but they are not alone. Even in difficult times, Jesus is present and provides hope and encouragement. John, while exiled on the island of Patmos, received a message directly from God through an angelic visitor. This message, recorded in the book of Revelation, serves as a timeless message of hope and warning for all generations. The central theme of the book of Revelation is worship, emphasizing the importance of worshiping God as the Creator. True worship gives purpose to life and enables believers to endure tribulations, knowing that they are ultimately destined for the Kingdom of God. As the final crises arise, believers will better understand the need to persevere through trials and tribulations. Monday. Worship the Creator. Read Revelation chapter 14 verse 7. How does the message of the first angel conclude? What final appeal does this judgment hour message make? See also Isa, 40 to 26, John chapter 1 verses 1 to 3, and Rom, 120. Revelation chapter 14 verse 7 calls for worshiping the Creator, emphasizing the importance of understanding creation. Accepting evolution challenges biblical and Christian beliefs as it contradicts the foundational verse of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. God's power is showcased in his creation, such as the sun, which produces more energy in one second than all of humanity's energy production combined. With billions of stars in the Milky Way alone, the magnitude of creation is beyond comprehension. Creation reveals God's unlimited power and his ongoing presence and care for his people. Tuesday. A God who is close. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, Psalm chapter 139 verses 15 to 18, Acts chapter 17 verse 27, and Colossians chapter 1 verse 17. What do these verses teach us about the closeness of God? The God of creation, who brought forth the sun, moon, and stars, is not only responsible for the vast universe but also intimately interested in each of us. He delivered his people, guided them, performed miracles, and defeated their enemies. This same God, who unleashed infinite power to create the universe, also unleashes that power to overcome evil and fight for our souls. The mentioned verses emphasize the closeness of God, highlighting his imminence and involvement in our lives. Though he is transcendent, existing above creation, he also exists within our world and is intimately connected to it. Jesus affirmed this intimate connection, stating that he dwells in his faithful followers and they in him. This closeness is further illustrated by God's promise to transform us into his likeness, remaking and purging us of sin. It is truly comforting to know that a God of such immense power loves and cares for us individually. Wednesday. Gospel, Judgment, Creation. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9, Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 to 17, Revelation chapter 4 verse 11, and Romans chapter 5 verses 17 to 19. What do these texts teach about Jesus as Creator and Redeemer? The first angel's message emphasizes the importance of the everlasting gospel and the hour of judgment, 
urging people to worship the Creator. These ideas are closely intertwined, as the Gospel provides hope for those who will stand before their Creator in judgment. The Bible reassures believers that there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, who walk according to the Spirit. The message of God as Creator is crucial in the face of evolutionary thought that challenges the Christian faith's foundation. The texts from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9, Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 to 17, Revelation chapter 4 verse 11, and Romans chapter 5 verses 17 to 19 affirm Jesus' roles as both Creator and Redeemer. Diminishing Jesus' role as Creator also questions his role as Redeemer, as his purpose is to redeem humanity from sin, death, suffering, and violence. However, evolution contradicts this purpose by suggesting that these very elements were necessary for the process of creation. Thursday. The Creator on the Cross. John chapter 19 verses 16 to 30, John's account of Jesus on the cross. Thursday highlights the profound truth that our Creator is also our Redeemer. The same God who created us is the one who sacrificed himself on the cross to redeem us. This truth calls us to fear God, give glory to him, and worship him. It emphasizes that Jesus, who created all things, willingly humbled himself and died on the cross out of love for us. The passage urges us to respond to this amazing expression of God's love by worshiping our Creator and Redeemer. The first angel's message in Revelation calls us to worship the one who made heaven and earth, recognizing that he is the same God who suffered and died for our redemption. In light of this incredible reality, worshiping our Creator and Redeemer is the only fitting response for us, the redeemed. Friday. Further thought. The worship of God has been a constant source of contention among both humans and God's people throughout the scriptures. In the Old Testament, the prophets consistently admonished God's people for either worshipping other gods or adopting pagan worship practices in their worship of the Lord. This conflict between worshipping God and worshipping other gods lies at the heart of the cosmic struggle and often coincided with a disregard for God's law. Worship is a fundamental aspect of human existence involving our response to the presence of the Creator. It is an act that only the living can engage in, as the dead cannot praise or worship. The Creator invites us to surrender our lives in worship, and in return, we receive them back enriched, with a purpose to benefit others. Worship goes beyond ourselves, freeing us from selfishness and providing a center outside of us. To neglect worship is to lose our reason for existence, resulting in disorientation and a gradual decline towards extinction, as we become disconnected from the source of life. Ankel Manuel Rodriguez, The Closing of the Cosmic Conflict, Role of the Three Angels' Messages, Unpublished Manuscript, page 42.